I sold methamphetamine for the cartel. Uh, held contract hits behind the walls while I was incarcerated in prison. I was the highest ranking enforcer in the state of Georgia for a notorious street gang called the Ghostface Gangsters. Involved in a lot of stuff that I'm not proud of. My mom was 15 year old whenever she had me and my dad, he, uh, when he found out that she was pregnant with me, he left us. I was sitting on a school bus and I remember uh, there was this little girl and a little boy sitting in front of me and uh, he kept hitting her, he was picking on her and the high school kids, they told me, they said, next time this happens, won't you jump on him? I said, okay. I come across the seat and I started hitting him. I started beating on him and everyone started clapping. And uh, I, I felt good, I felt something. And I wanted a family, I wanted to be a part of something greater. I got arrested and uh, I had full intentions of either killing the police officer or I was going, they was gonna kill me, I was not going back to prison. I got blue lighted. I looked over at the female that I was with and I told her, I said, hand me that pistol. She dropped the pistol in her pocketbook. I said, okay, I'm going to jail. And we had a meeting and a man named John Miles had come in there, he was a jail chaplain. And they were sitting there and they were talking about uh, giving God control of your life. And uh, I'd come to the conclusion listening to these men that my life was out of control, but I didn't know how to get it back in control. So I'm sitting here listening and they start talking about Jesus. They talk about Jesus Christ and that he's God, he's the son of God, that he can forgive you and you can move past it. And uh, that night in a bathroom cell, I hit my knees and I surrendered and I said, God, please save me and he saved my life. It's where I fell in love with Jesus Christ. And I, uh, I'm talking to Cowboy. He says, now uh, reaches in a pocket, he says, you ready to get high? He pulled out a bag of methamphetamine. I said, I, 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 don't, I don't do that no more. I, I'm a Christian now. And uh, he looked at me kind of funny. And uh, he, says, he said, man, will you pray with me? I said, yeah, I'll pray with you. And so I prayed with the man and he reached in his pocket and he flushed that dope. That was a big moment for him as well as for myself. I, I seen God moving. I seen what God could do through someone like me, and I was very thankful that I was a part of that. I used to carry a nine millimeter in my back pocket. Now I got a billfold. I got a, a checking account. I got a garden. And the cop that I was gonna kill is, he's one of my best friends now. I, now I can look in the mirror and I like the man that I see.